Hey there. So my name is Kelsey. Um, I'm in the class, and here is my short presentation or discussion regarding operations management. So in terms of my experience with operations, I've not myself been in a manager position. However, as I work at McDonald's, I do see a lot of background work that occurs. There you have to take stock, you have to make sure that people are in their place, aces in their places. So one of the key factors, obviously, in, that I will discuss later is that, um, making sure the worker is in the right place, you, making sure you have the product, you have the quality, very much a big busy thing and definitely management and operations for sure takes up a huge part of what gets done at McDonald's. Um, even working on a farm, you have to make sure you have the quality produce, you have to make sure the seeds are okay, the soil is good, you have to make sure that all of your equipment is all right, you have your enough labor force, you have everything ready in case of weather, what you, how you're going to pick, how you're going to prune, how you're going to get everything together and to market, and it's a huge deal, so definitely have experience with that. Um, and an apple orchard in the States, actually. Um, big deal. It's very important. As for what I found interesting after doing the readings, I found the three major parts of business, which I thought was very interesting. Of course, there's the finance sector, which as, a, as an account, now accounting major, that's very important. I get that. If you don't have the money, you can't do the rest of the stuff. But if you don't have the other stuff, you can't get the money. So it's all one big triangle. It's very important the finance, the marketing, and the operations management. And I didn't realize, um, looking at the variables, how 52% 52% is management alone, 38% capital, and 10% labor. That's crazy. When people complain now, I when I, I get, um, when people complain about, you know, oh, why are they cutting the hours at work? Yes, it's a pain, but if you look at the percentages, they, they cut labor first, obviously. What else I thought was really interesting was how much of the revenue does go to management. I, I see why now because of the percentages, but just it's just a huge number. It's crazy. It's also one of those things that you can't really get rid of. You need to have that management. You need to have things going or else you don't have anything at all. So it makes more sense to cut the others more so than it would to cut operations management. However, if you don't have efficient operations management, then it doesn't matter what you're going to do. It's still going to be a problem. It's just really interesting. Um, as for the Foster's career ambitions, I find that it's really cool to see, as I said before, how important it is and how it affects everything else. It's really the foundation. It's the behind the scenes off, oftentimes, but if you watch a play, the lighting is important, the sound. If you don't have the sound, you're not going to hear anything in the play. If you can't see what's going on, you're not going to experience it. If you don't have the good set pieces, the good costumes, it's not believable. You know, you can have the script, what it's how it's all put together. And that's really what that does. So truly, it's a big component. And I like to think of it as if anyone has ever played The Sims or Sue Tycoon or any of the tycoon games, Yes, you have to manage those resources, but you are ultimately the one pulling the strings. You have to make sure that everything goes together and it's fine and manage all of that stuff and really make sure that the balance is kept. And it's really interesting. I myself find, uh, if I look at accounting, I find it very similar. You have to make sure everything's on the balance, everything's okay, and you have to look at all of that stuff. But you get the information from those operations managers. You take it from those people, and then you send it out there and put your math together and then you tell those guys what you can and can't spend and it's really, really interesting. It all, it all works together. It's all nice. Anyway, so that's my relatively quick presentation and I think it's going to be really interesting to learn more about this, this really, really big important part. Also the whole idea with um, Frederick Taylor and Ellie Whitney with the interchangeable parts and the guns. That's really cool too. All right, anyways, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed my, like I said, interesting little thing. Ta-da!